For more than 40 years, Rick Allen has been the drummer of one of the best-selling rock bands of all time, with mega hits like Pour Some Sugar On Me. Def Leppard has sold more than 100 million records worldwide. All the money and fame that comes with it, and still, those who know Rick best will tell you, that's not what's most impressive about him. And to really understand that, we need to go back to the 80s. Rick joined Def Leppard when he was just 15. By the time he was 21, the band was a huge success. Rick was on top of the world. Hi, we're Def Leppard on MTV. Music television. 24 hours a day. And then, you buy a Corvette. Ah, yeah. December 31st, 1984, an afternoon drive in that Corvette would change the course of Rick's life. The crash happened fast. It was a violent rollover. A member of a British rock group is tonight fighting for his life in a Sheffield hospital. As the car rolled, the seatbelt came undone, and the seatbelt took my arm as I was flying out through the car. His right arm broken, his left arm gone. This picture taken of Rick the first day out of the hospital. It would be the first day of the rest of his life. Relearning how to do everything from water skiing and shooting pool to playing the drums with just one arm. The band stood by Rick, and when he was strong enough, Def Leppard went on recording and touring, releasing Hysteria with a chart-topping hit, Love Bites. The band's most successful album to date. So this is where it all happens. Today, with the band on a pandemic pause, we visited Rick and his wife Lauren at their California home. In their recording studio, Rick shows us his drum kit and how the technology allowed him to sound like he did before the crash. The foot pedals sort of mimic what your left arm would do. Absolutely what it does. Instead of this being a snare drum, it would be, say, Tom Watt. Just so, let's see, I'm playing real. So I can actually go here instead of having to reach all the way over here. Playing, Rick says, is almost a meditative experience. He's happy on the drums. And on this day, happy to jam with a journalist. That's great. Hey! I, I, I told you he's a real player. I'm Okay, that was cool. Right next to Rick's recording studio is his art studio. Going close, and it's like, what is that? Rick loved art as a child. He showed us this picture he made for his mom when he was five. Now, he paints a lot. I started out with, you know, telephone boxes, and, you know, you see the buses here, and just all those iconic uh, things that everybody associates with England or London. Yeah, yeah well, it's a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> Rick paints from the heart. His youngest daughter on a swing, a butterfly off in the distance. There are spiritual pieces, too, and other rock legends. His most recent, a tribute to late Rolling Stones drummer Charlie Watts. One of Rick's signatures, poignantly, his right hand. I nearly lost this one as well. So for me, it's just a reminder of everything that I went through and everything that I put this poor old hand through uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Rick's art sold at Wentworth Gallery, owned by Christian O'Mahony. The impact that he can have on people because of the similarity that he has with people that have suffered that type of trauma, uh, he really sees it as a blessing. Depending on the size of a piece, Christian says collectors are paying up to tens of thousands of dollars. Rick began donating part of the proceeds to the Wounded Warrior Project after a visit to Walter Reed Medical Center in 2006. I was so taken by the, 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 whole, the whole thing, the whole visit, and how much people looked up to me and what, what I'd done. But then I saw what these guys were going through. Just a very humble man, just, just wants to be a human amongst other humans and, and see how he can help others. Norby Lara fought for the country and felt immediately connected to Rick and Lauren. It was um, really cool to be around someone who had been through something you know, very similar to myself, losing an arm, and still being able to smile. Lauren is a singer, songwriter, and teacher. Rick says she's been helping him heal physically and emotionally since the day they met 20 years ago. Today, they run the nonprofit Raven Drum Foundation. We collaborate with different nonprofits 
uh, to be able to facilitate healing through programs and fundraising and concerts. A focus on veterans with head trauma and PTSD. Both Rick still grapples with. When I met Rick, he didn't know he had PTSD. <laughs> and, and that was uh, something he was really struggling with. You know, it's something that we work on all the time to, to help build his resiliency. That resiliency built on Rick and Lauren's shared passions for music and social justice. And in 2019, Def Leppard was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He survived it and came out the other side stronger. A minute-long standing ovation by rock royalty. Lauren in the crowd, both overwhelmed by emotion. If you could go back into that hospital room and tell the 21-year-old version of yourself one thing that would help him get through the rest of the hospital stay, what would it be? Yeah. <laughs> Your heart. One thing people tell me who know you that they admire about you most is your heart, your spirit. Thank you. I appreciate you allowing us in your house. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. Give me. All these years later, Rick is still healing, still drumming and touring, working through the pain and emotion of that crash and all that followed. If you were given the chance to go back and not have that happen, would you? That's a really good question. Um, in many ways, I think it enabled me to grow in so many ways. It became a blessing, a responsibility, a responsibility to, uh, you know, to, to other people, to myself. And uh, I, I think that has become a, a huge gift. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, California.